I am here at the parking lot of the Sanctuary of Medjugorje. There are two friends from Germany and we are going to go up cross mountain now. She's preparing the car. They will drive there. You have to charge over here. You see the back. There is our lady over there. And we are going to go now up to cross mountain over there. See it over there. And there are my friends. And here we are passing now St. James Church. Look at that, there is St. James Church and we are on the way to Apparition Hill now. St. James Church and straight on, always straight on. Like a good German, always straight on now. And we keep on going, there is Cross Mountain here. We are straight driving up. And look here is a Ukrainian group coming from Cross Mountain. And here we go on the right, to Krizhevats, yes, up to Krizhevats, Cross Mountain. More pilgrims are coming from Cross Mountain. And here is the button of Cross Mountain. We arrived at Cross Mountain. Look the view we have here on St. St. Church down here. And Medjugorje literally means in between the mountains and now you know why all the mountains surrounding Medjugorje. Also on this side, this is Cross Mountain up here. We are now from the parking lot on the way to Apparition Hill and we are passing the commercial four Kravitsa waterfalls which are like around 30 minutes from Medjugorje. Here is the parking lot for the buses. And on the way to Apparition Hill, you have this beautiful shop with local products. Look at that, so nice, hello. And there's another parking lot here where you have to pay next to Apparition Hill, the entrance. And we are going now to Apparition Hill. See, we have a slight wind. Here we arrived at Apparition Hill. We came up this road here. And here we yeah, are, Apparition Hill, Medjugorje. And let's see a bit what is going on here at Cross Mountain, Medjugorje. You see, we have all different kind of languages from Croatian to Italian, German, English. There's a nice shop, then you come down, some fresh creased orange juice. And then you have the Stations of the Cross. And we are starting the journey going up Cross Mountain. That's the way to go. Gila, this way up. But that's okay too. And we are going up the mountain. Just to give you an impression. And then I cut some little films, impressions on the way up again for you guys. Do you see that's very rocky? And we take all your intentions up the mountain to bring it to the cross, on the foot of the cross. All your known and unknown intentions I will bring up. And there, there we go. You see here, and everybody has its own rhythm. There we go, and you have languages from around the world, the one apostolic Catholic Church. And you see, have mothers with children, families you saw already. And that is the way up to Cross Mountain. And you have a little few like this here, down there. Friend boys just that did what we learn here on the mountain to go step by step slowly, to be slower and not so fast. 
and we are going to take up some special intention. We are taking up our prayers for conversion of the people in the Middle East and around the world, that they find the life-changing beauty of Christ's message. And we pray for the peace in the Middle East and around the world. Peace in our hearts, peace, peace in our families, in our communities, in our countries and all around the world. And look, there's the father with the daughter bringing the rosary. Look at that. I've never seen that before. So beautiful. Yeah. My friend Gina says it's so beautiful that the father is taking the daughter on the shoulders. And Gina said the father has trust in God that he's not going to stumble and the daughter trusts in her father to take her safely down the hill. That is a beautiful, beautiful image for us, you know? That we trust in God the Father. And look, you have help here. Look, we pray for the person who stumbled. They are like first responders here at the moment. And let's pray for the lady they're carrying down. And for the safety that we are going up and everything will be fine and all the other pilgrims. We are here station number two two as you can see and let's pray for all the medical teams around the world the doctors the nurses first responders we will take them up on the mountain as well in our prayer intentions and you can add at home your prayer intentions as well you see you are learning to go step by step by step as it's very rocky That is the meditation to be in the moment. And if you are in, in the past, in the future, you will stumble. You have to be concentrated and living in the moment, as Jesus said. The day, this day has enough burdens. Don't think of the past, don't look into the future, just live in the moment. And there's a saying here in Medjugorje that all these stones are the hardened hearts that people, pilgrims, left behind here. And you see how many hardened hearts are left behind and got soft. And people are smiling and are happy again. But you see, you have to go step by step, not too far. We are coming slowly to the next station here, the third station. One lesson here is to help each other. Young, younger helps older to get down together. That's our Catholic Church. We are all on the same journey, helping each other. And it's to learn also to let yourself be helped. That's why I saw often with Pilgrim's group. Often we don't want to be helped, we want to, we want to stay independent. But isn't it beauty a helping hand? Yeah, it's station three, the way of the cross. And we are slowly moving forward. It's quite hot. We are around one o'clock now, I would say. Yeah. And my friend Gila said she was in... Gila, you were in Ireland? You said you went up which mountain? St. Patrick yeah? Hill. And it's similar mountain. Our Irish viewers, you know the hill, St. Patrick Hill. My friend Gila went with her husband up the hill. Said it was quite a bit similar to here. And look, that is another passage coming to station number four. Yeah, here at number four, Boris conquered the station number four. My friend is there. How is it, Boris, Boris to go up the hill? Marvelous. Marvelous. Fantastic. Fantastic. You said it's a bit exhausting? It's or? a bit exhausting, but it's really worth it. That was the station where Mary met Jesus and we were praying that we can leave behind all the wrong um, relationship with our parents, that we have loving relationships with our parents, that we are not angry anymore. Parents to the children, children to the parents. Nobody is perfect. That we see the the suffering in everyone, and that we can forgive from the heart, and then that we have relationships with our parents, or parents with the children, which are balanced, joyful, forgiving, understanding. 
That's what we are all yearning for, loving relationships. Look at this, Gila made some sandwiches for us. We are so happy, the boys are happy. And look, she's preparing. And women are that. always good providing <laughs> yes. the family and the friends. Especially you. Gila has a huge family. We pray for her family. Look at this. It's yummy, yummy. Yeah. Uh, you want this one or I eat it? I think I, I have a special one. With the okay. Salami, I think. Also, I take this one. Look yeah, at this. Too, what we yeah. learn here to share everything. My okay. friend Boris got some dates. Look at that. Look on the way. What we saw here is this flower. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> And we are going up the mountain further. So don't forget to see the flowers God is placing on your journey. And look at this view here. Look at this, this is stairways to heaven. And look again the view here, my friend Gila is coming and this is the view. And this is the way we are going further up. Today it's a bit tougher to go up. This is number 10, station number 10. And we are going to go further up. We had problems. We said, man, are we going up? Or are we going down? And then we decided to go up. We met a nice lady from Croatia who said, keep going. And we decided to keep going. And now I think it's not so far anymore. And basically we are happy that we are going to make it. You know, sometimes in life we are exhausted, we don't want to go on. So just maybe sit down, take a break, take a breath. Talk to a person, talk to each other, have community and then the spirit comes back. That's what we had. We talked to a lady, as I said, from Croatia and said, keep going, we'll do it. Have a drink like we had before as well, some water, fresh, Drinking clear water. Clear. Yes, and then we are moving forward you see how rocky it is and the way down there's another crew coming up the hill and look at this spectacular view look again a beautiful view and station number 13 They take down Jesus from the cross. Imagine what he did for us. We just were talking. This was supernatural. No human being could take that, what Jesus took him, you know, to have no blame or take all the blame. A human being would get so angry. Why do I have to do this, you know? And the pain he, he endured, this is, it's not human, you know? As my brother said, my late brother, he said, this no human being could have done this. It's impossible. So meditate on it, the suffering. What he did for us, he paid the price. And there we go, finally. That was the last way, it's a bit tougher up. Now we can slightly walk up. This is easier. And Let's see what we will see up there now. This is the place where Father Slavko Barbaric, you all know him by now, we often went to the grave of Father Slavko. He sat down here, that was a pilgrimage up the hill doing the way of the cross, and he sat down and just bling left this earth. The visionaries asked Our Lady about him and she, she said he's directly, he went directly up to heaven. He's the guy, the, or the priest, Six used to say guy, the priest who um, installed the youth festival, Mother's Village. He did so many things here for Medjugorje, for the pilgrims. He spoke several, several languages. He wrote a lot of beautiful books. You can get them in the bookstore at the Franciscan bookstore next to the church. And just intercede and ask Father Slavko for peace in the world, that he's interceding for us down here, who are still going through a lot of turbulences at the moment, that we all have peace in our heart, in ourselves, in our families, in our communities, our countries, and around the world, in the Middle East, Ukraine, so many places. You see it all around you. And let's continue. I want to show you something now here. 
there is the cross. Cross Mountain up there. And here we are. I go a bit further. Look at that here. Metsugoi. Let's see, there is St. James Church down here. Go further. Station number 14 over here. You see, it's very peaceful today up here. And look here again. Metsugoi. And you see all surrounded by mountains. In between the mountains. Literally in Croatian Metsugoi means in between the mountains. It's going up the hill now. The last pathway. And here we are coming to the top of Cross Mountain.
hope you enjoyed this tour here to Cross Mountain Metzogaya. Look at this, we have a beautiful sunset here on Cross Mountain. You see we have now autumn, the leaves are turning to different colors. I just wanted to show you this beautiful, beautiful moment here, descending from up, uh, Cross Mountain. It's just this beautiful, beautiful warm light. Still you have to be very concentrated here as well, going down. And I hope you enjoyed this tour and this moment. And what we learn is to live in the moment and to walk step by step by step, not be living in our thoughts in the past or in the future, but step by step by step. And then you can see also God's creation in its beauty, the different colors, and it's also the wildfire, by the way. That is not autumn, that's the wildfire. That happened here in summer. And you see my friend Boris going down the hill step by step.